Hello my dear students. I hope you all are fine. Students, we have already completed the first three chapters of our book, which is from first term. And we've done the revision as well. So now we are going to begin the creative writing part of our syllabus, which is lesson number 18, paragraph writing in your English one book. This is also from your first term. Uh, in fact, it will be in all the terms. So students, what is the meaning of creative writing? Let me tell you. Creative writing is something which you write by your own creativity and ideas. So creative is something with your own ideas and thoughts. In your creative writing exam, you don't have to learn something. You have to just write in your own words, putting your own ideas and thoughts in your writing sheet. So if the topic is given to you in creative writing exam, you have to write it on your own using your own ideas and thoughts. So student, let us learn how to write a paragraph. So students, when you start learning, what do you learn when you to, when you start learning process when you are a kid? You learn A, B, C, D, right? And then as you grow, you learn to write words and then finally sentences. So in time, you learn how to write a paragraph by putting the sentences together and organizing them around a topic. So when you learn to write sentences and then after writing the sentences you learn how to write a paragraph because a paragraph is made up of sentences. Right? You put so many sentences together in an organized way to make a paragraph. So students, writing a paragraph involves three steps. There are three steps of writing a paragraph. Number one, beginning with the topic sentence. So beginning should be with the topic sentence. Number two, adding the supporting details in the next process after beginning the topics with the topic sentence you should add details about that topic you should explain about it you should tell something more about that topic and then the last is ending with the concluding sentence so ending sentence should be the conclusion of that topics students I'm sure you must have seen a burger have you and you have eaten it too, right? So writing just like a burger. A burger is what? There are layers of things in burger, right? First layer is of bun. In the top is bun. And in between the burgers, uh, buns, there is tiki and uh, vegetables. And the last is the bun again. So, the bun is arranged in that way, right? So, if we change the position of the things which are in bun, for example, we change the position of the bun, if we keep it at the end and the vegetables on the top, will it look good? It will not look good, right? It will only look good if we will keep the bun at the top and then on the tikki and then the bun again, right? So in the same way, if we will not write a paragraph in a proper way, 
then it will not sound good it will not look good so we should keep it in mind that we start it with a topic sentence and then in between we will write the supporting details of the topic and then add with a end with a concluding sentence so students there are three types of paragraphs how many three there are three types of paragraphs narrative descriptive and expository in your syllabus we have narrative paragraphs we will write about narr narrative paragraphs only but let me tell tell you what is the meaning of narrative descriptive and expository paragraph so students a narrative paragraph tell about a scene or event for example if you've been to some place if if you are going to a zoo or if you've been to a fair or if you have been on a picnic and then you describe about it that is narrative paragraph where you narrate something narrate the incident happened with you for example i've been to zoo and then there were so many animals there i saw giraffe elephant so you narrate everything whatever you have seen in the zoo or wherever you have been so these types of paragraphs are called narrative paragraph where you tell about a scene or event so next is descriptive paragraph what is descriptive paragraph so descriptive paragraphs gives description of something or someone for example if you have to tell about mahatma gandhi so there is you have to write a paragraph on mahatma gandhi then that is descriptive paragraph that types of paragraphs are called descriptive paragraph where you describe about something or someone and the last is expository paragraph what is an expository paragraph so expository paragraphs gives information for example if you have to write a paragraph on computer right so you give information about computer right so the these types of paragraphs are called expository paragraphs where you give information about something so now we will learn more about narrative paragraphs here are some tips to write a narr narrative paragraph all the events should be in the correct order so all that happened should be in correct order for example if you are going if you are writing about my visit to zoo so you will not write the first sentence you will write about the zoo is that i like going to zoo and then you continue with the supporting details of zoo but if you change the sequence of writing the sentences for example if you write the last sentence that i la i liked my visit to zoo so it will not be a good paragraph because all the events should be in the correct order number 2 the topic sentence needs to be clear so that the reader knows what the paragraph is about so the first the topic sentence is the first with the beginning sentence so the beginning sentence should be very clear so that the one who is reading the paragraph should know that what the topic is about what the paragraph is about understood so it should be very clear what you are writing number 3 the sentences should be well connected so each sentence should connect to each other right sentences 
should should connect with each other they should be well connected and the last is the conclusion should give the paragraph a proper ending so there should be a proper ending of the paragraph too so these are the points which you should keep in mind while writing the paragraph a student it is very important to write a good paragraph because you score good marks in creative writing if you are writing it well and you will not get to know the topics in advance in your creative writing exam you will get to know about the topic on the spot only on the day of exam because creative writing is your own creativity so you will not get the chance to learn something by heart but you should know the method of writing a paragraph so for that you should follow this these tips and the methods of writing the paragraph i hope it's clear to you there are few examples given of narrative paragraph there are few sample narrative paragraphs given in your book also you can read it and get the idea of writing the paragraphs and there are few paragraphs to write you can write these paragraphs in your own words okay all right then i'll wind up now i will send you the topic for today to write a paragraph you have to write a paragraph in your own words all right thank you so much student bye bye